Hey guys, today we're going to be working on an old antique table. It may have been a desk at one time. It's got a drawer on the side over here. It's missing. I'm going to have to make a drawer for it. But you can tell by looking at it, it's got an old uh, quarter sawn red oak top on it. Looks like red oak. And then it's got uh, some engravings on the side. I think they're pressed in myself. I don't think they're hand carved or nothing. Same way on the end of it here. Let me get it uh, turned over here. And the bottom side of it looks pretty rough. Had a lot of repair to it. Some of it uh, not real good. I'll replace that and that's real loose. I need to fix all of that. It's got a drawer guide right here. I'll probably reuse that one. I have to make another one for that side. And then it's got a old broken leg brace right there i'll put a new one of those in pretty nice looking old table finish on it's pretty decent i'll try to save the finish on it yeah we'll get started and see what we can come up with first i think i'm going to do Oh, let me show you one of the legs. It's got pretty nice legs on it. I think that's pressed in too. That may be carved. I can't tell. It had leg braces on the bottom. I don't know what I'll do to it. I'll wait till I get it put together and we'll uh, see what we can come up with. First of all... Try to work on that piece right there. Somebody just put a little clamp on it. I'm going to take that clamp off. Hopefully I can do something with it. Make it uh, where I can use it. Man, that's bad shape. It'll work. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of a piece of oak, cut me another one of those. Making it just a little bit longer, give it more support maybe. Man, them them wasn't cut square or nothing, boy. I tell you, no. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do next. Find a leg here. May work good. That's not quite in the center. Let me get another one. These are called hanger bolts. They're wood threads on one side and they're machine threads on the other for a nut. These are quarter 20s. They may not be big enough. Yeah, it's gonna be about right. Let 
screws one up in here. What that does, that let you slide through the hole, and you can put another one to attach your leg. Man, that's gonna do great. That'll do great. I want to put that on, and that may help hold that on my corner brace. Then that may help me. I hope to position this piece just gotta see where I would piece mm. line up my block here I'll mark my hole Centered up pretty good there. What I did, I put two edges together, keep them on the top. Be long enough, and I'm gonna get a use that as a center punch. That'll give me a little starting place for my drill bit. I'll drill this hole just a little bigger because I'd almost bet that's not going to line up like it's supposed to. It'll give me a little leeway when I can level my leg up. And that'll go through on my corner block. Go through there and I can put a nut on it and that'll pull up uh, against my block like that. Goes in that little groove on the leg. See the leg got a groove in them. That'll let that slide up there just like that. Lock in place. That should do good. Beautiful. Man, that's gonna fit good. Mark the end of it. <laughs> and I wanna come in here with this. Right on my line. add a little uh, corner block to it that'll work good so what I want to do before I do that I want to sand the finish off of that I'm going to try to stain it to make it blend in a little better Now what I'll do when I get that put on there like I want it, 
like that in place. I'll take some screws and go through. I'm going to take a, uh, I don't know, I guess you call it a countersink bit. It's got a drill bit with a countersink for the head of the screw. Drill in through it. Drill into it where I can put a screw and the head will be countersunk but won't stick up. They're like that right there. There's a original one. See how it's countersunk. Screw goes in it. And if you don't have a, a drill bit with a countersunk made on it, you can take a regular drill bit and just use a countersunk. Either one works. Probably gonna take about a inch and five eight maybe. Inch and a half, inch and five eight, I'm not really for sure. Don't want them too long, I don't want to go through my tabletop. Those will be alright. get some oh that's just right yeah it's gonna be too long yeah i need a little shorter screw go with a inch and a quarter let me see how long these dudes are Man, that's perfect. Stick out about a half an inch, maybe. That's perfect. <clears throat> now I gotta take my screw back out. Put my counter thing back in. Get this on my mark again, like I want it. Get it turned right here. right there where I want it. Get that in position and hold it right there. Make me a little just don't go too deep. You want to go through the top of your table. Start this. Just snug it up. Barely leave the tip of my screw sticking out, maybe a little more. And that'll let me find my screw hole. You don't want to leave it out too much. You leave it out too much, your wood won't tighten up to your tabletop. It'll be loose. You get it too, because it'll tighten up into this wood before it does that piece. Just barely. Barely snug it up for now. Man, that's tight. That's 
should go right in there. So what I'm gonna do now, get me another Another hole started on this, just about the center of it. I don't like that doing the other. smoking I ain't touching that bit yeah it's sucker hot we done been down that road let me loosen it up here go to the lower gear there Nug it up, see what it looks like here. That'll work. Man, that's perfect. And we want to take her back out. Put my hot bit back in there. Get this dude where it goes. Yeah, hot dude back out of there and get my pit back in there. Turn my drill back down. Best to run these screws in on low speed on your drill. If you don't, you'll strip them out. them up. Got to get a longer screw in that. That'll work out good, boy. <laughs> and we come back here with that. Come back here with that. Let me put a, a washer. That'll work out. I'm not going to tighten it. I need to anchor my other piece of wood. But you can look at that. And see how that's going to work there got my brace in there and then my piece I made to hold my leg once that gets glued in place and screwed down everything tight that should hold great man it looks good probably what I'll do is come back here on this piece too I've got another brace cut out so that's where my drawer is going to be. I'm going to put another brace on that side. I may do it right now, right now, while that's holding hold good. I think I will. That let all those uh, be braced good right off the bat.
get my uh, little counter sink again. That about the same distance from my piece there. Just gonna eyeball them like I done the other piece. 